Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference Well YouTube channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful day like me and if not, you better be manifesting, planning and preparing for a better one because it's surely coming to you all for sure. Uh, so for everybody that's new to my channel, welcome. I'm an author, motivational speaker and CEO of Third Eye Entertainment LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire and entertain all at once. So if this is your first time to my YouTube channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe channel. Uh, for those that are coming back, welcome back. I uh, appreciate the love and support, you guys. Um, I'm very excited with you guys today because it's going to be our first uh, spiritual slash inspirational uh, motivation vlog I'm going to be dropping to you guys. Remember, I said back uh, a while back on Sundays, I will be dropping uh Sunday content be inspirational, motivational type content for you guys. For those that uh, are, are spiritually inclined, like I said, I try not to push religion too much because I'm not a religious person. I don't claim a religion, but I do believe in Christ and, and fall for, before my knees and pray to God. Um, and I, I serve God. I, I don't claim a religion, but I have a relationship with Christ. Put it to you that way. Uh, and so for those out there who are uh, like-minded like me as well as that have religions as well, I'm not opposed to those who believe and don't believe, uh, but for those who, who may be in a spiritual battle or warfare and may need um, motivation in that department, here I am. <laughs> so uh, with this vlog being in our first one, I think it would be fitting to tire it, title it uh, Putting on the Armor of God or the Armor of God um, <clears throat> for those who, you know, reading their Bibles. Um, it states in Ephesians, I believe 6, 6, uh, was it 10? It's a long chapter, but like 6 to 6, chap Ephesians 6 through 11, it tells you about the armor of God and uh, the six uh, pieces that you should have. Uh, and so I want to tell you guys about that, starting from the bottom up. Uh, the first uh, thing when you're putting on is your shoes. So when you put on your shoes or mentally, uh, when you're fighting these battles and spiritually, you know, things come upon you. Uh, like I said, for those who have any type of mental anguish, um, a lot of those, it, it comes from spiritual attachment, you know, uh, you know, demonic uh, beings and demonic forces that come upon you. They move through people and do things and they try to break you down and keep you down. So when you wake up in the morning, I encourage you guys, and those that don't read the Bible, Bible, you know, look at Ephesians 6, 11, uh, about the armor of God and what it is. And so when you wake up in the morning, you mentally, spiritually, you put on your shoes of peace and you walk in peace. Uh, next, you put on the belt of truth. Uh, that is where you start. You live by your truth. You speak the truth and, and you live the truth. Uh, then you will need your sword, uh, the word of God. And then the breastplate of righteousness, and you walk in righteousness, and then the shield of faith, and then also you have the helmet of salvation. So where you we have your crown on your head, and you put God in your mind, in your heart, and you walk with Him, and you walk in His word, and you use your faith to shield from any of the dark forces that may come against you. Uh, there are six tools, but I also say that for me it's seven. The last uh, thing that you put on is a prayer. You pray. Um, even if you don't wake up in the morning, you don't do this. Even when, just throughout the day, you can just remind yourself, hey, put on that armor of God. And so when you wake up in the morning, you you ready to fight those battles and those demons you know, mentally. Be sure, don't forget, you guys, put on that armor of God and, and walk with Christ. You know, at times, for me, um, when I don't want to read the Bible, now I, I don't go to church like that, but I, I do attend online church and I do read my Bible. And so at times when, you know, I don't feel like reading my Bible, that's when I know it's time for me to get in that Bible <laughs> and get into reading and, and get filled up with Christ, especially, you know, with what I'm going through now mentally, you know, mourning my mother is uh, just made 10 months a couple of days ago and today actually four five years ago we went on our cruise uh, I took her for a birthday cruise on a carnival cruise to uh, Mexico and it's been five years ago to the date today and so um, I'm just looking back on that memory and holding on to that memory and keeping me uh, going you know she's all day <clears throat> it's been shining the sun's been shining and so I know uh, she would want me to keep going and not being sad and so uh, that's what it is for me when, you know, I'm walking with Christ and believing in His Word and trusting in His will 
and, and just having respect for it because it's nothing that I can do. You know, what's done is done. <laughs> and so um, just trusting his will to keep moving forward. And so I encourage those that are going through it, stay prayed up, put on the armor of God, uh, as well as you guys, like I said, uh, when it comes to motivation, you need to hear from more than one person. So I want to share with you guys an uh, inspirational clip I found on YouTube uh, by uh, what is it? Angel Motivation or Above Inspiration, I believe is what it's called. Uh, and it talks about putting on the armor of God. So check it out. And when we come back, I'll talk more about this uh, vlog and then we'll talk more about what's going on in different. So, yeah. So here it is. Right now, we are in the midst of a supernatural war. This is a war between light and darkness. It's a war between good and evil. It's a war between Christ and Antichrist. This supernatural war is a fight to the finished. It's not until you get tired or you get weary. We're not doing this in our strength. We're doing it in God's strength. St. Paul gives this battle cry. Put on the whole armor of God. That is a command. It is not a request. It is for your benefit. You be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. He says you put on the full armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. He says, for our struggle, it is not against flesh and blood, but it is against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in heavenly places. He says, so therefore, you better lay down all your earthly weapons that do not work and take up some weapons that will actually have benefits in your life. He says, take up the full armor of God so that you may be able to resist in the evil day. And having done everything to stand firm, he says, you ought to just stand firm, therefore. In this passage, the Apostle Paul introduces almost for the first time, at least this overtly, he introduces the concept of spiritual warfare. Paul says, endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Fight the good fight of faith. We're more than conquerors through Christ. St. Paul says in Colossians 2.15 that on the cross, quote, Jesus was spoiling powers and principalities and making a public show of Satan. The Bible says, for this cause came Christ into the world to destroy the works of the devil. The message is that Christ went to the cross to defeat Satan. Now the question, the point I'm making here is this. You cannot believe in redemption of the cross and not believe in the purpose of the cross. And the purpose of the cross was to destroy a very real devil whose objective is to destroy you. The Apostle Paul says you have an enemy and he's very, very real and he's banking on the fact that you will forget he is there. There is a satanic force in this universe that's trying to deceive, divide, and to destroy, and he's being far too successful. And there'll never come a time in your life where Satan decides to leave you alone. But the fact is, the same Bible that tells you there is a real God, tells you there is a very real devil. With demonic forces, highly organized, totally ruthless, committed to destroying you. And that those demon powers will attack your mind and attack your body and attack your marriage and attack your finances and attack your children and attack your relationships and attack your church. That it's not your spouse who is the problem. There's an enemy. It's not your boss who is the problem. There is an enemy. It's not even your own personal internal turmoil that is the main problem. There is an enemy who lives to stir dissension and division and to see jealousy and envy to call to you and I not to have any peace of mind and peace of heart. And the enemy wants, or Paul wants you to know how strategic the enemy is, y'all, because he says, listen, the enemy is scheming against you. Somebody say scheme. Satan attacks you because you're God's child and he hates God's property. Satan attacks you because you're the light of the world and he's the prince of darkness. Satan attacks you because you're the truth and he's the father of lies. Satan attacks you because you're a soldier of the cross. You're anointed. You have the word of God. You have covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. You can take the sword of the truth of God and attack the gates of hell. You're a threat to him. You can only have one chance of survival. Put on the whole armor of God and fight back. 
take the word, take the blood of the cross and the authority of Jesus' name and drive demonic goons back into the back alleys of hell because the victory is ours through Christ the Lord. God has given you authority. Use it so that you can have victory and peace in this life. Paul says, I'm going to give you some weapons that work. And he gives us, traditionally people say six, but really I believe there are seven pieces of armor. I want to tell you briefly what they are. He says, you need to make sure that you stand firm in verse 14. Gird your loins with truth. He says, then you need a breastplate called righteousness. But he doesn't stop there. He says, you need something for your feet. They better be shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Then he says, you need a shield and it's called faith. He says in verse 17, you need a helmet. You need something to guard your mind. You need a helmet called salvation. And you need a sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And while most people stop there, the apostle Paul does not. He says, even though these six things are important, you need one more thing. In verse 18, he says, and pray. And so pray. If you want victory in your marriage, would you make sure you are a man or a woman of prayer? If you want victory teenager in your high school or student at your university, then you got to become a person of prayer. And if you say you want to live victoriously and abundantly and yet you don't pray, then I don't believe you. Because prayer is how we live in the abundance of our God. We need to realize that there's a spiritual realm that is actually, honestly, more real and more important than this realm. It's just that we ignore it because we can't see it. But it's there. We are in a war. We are soldiers in the army of God. And Jesus is the captain of the host. He's given us his name. He's given us his word. He's given us his blood. And when I finally began to learn, when somebody began to teach me that the devil was behind most of my problems, some of them I was creating myself, but the devil was behind most of them, and that I had authority over him, God has given us weapons and he's given us armor. We need to know how to use our weapons and we need to make sure that we are wearing our armor on a regular basis. Spiritual warfare for spiritual people. How many of you have had it with the enemy and you're ready to learn how to fight him and win the war? All right. Do it in God's strength. Be strong in the Lord. Say that with me. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. This is God's fight. It's not yours. It's God's victory. It's not yours. It's God's glory. It's not yours. It's God's kingdom. It's not yours. It's God's strength. It's not yours. Put on the whole armor of God and fight and fight to win because the victory is ours through Christ the Lord. You can never exhaust God's resources. You can never exhaust God's resources because he can do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think. You can see his mighty power, but when he gets through, he's not exhausted. He has much more strength ready to give you from day unto day. He can defeat any giant that's before you. He can produce dreams in the desert. He can produce manna that will fall from the sky. He can send cloven tongues of fire in the upper room. He can walk on the water in the Sea of Galilee and south you the thing that you think is about to destroy you he can use it for a sidewalk to save you when you grow weary he can make you to run like Elijah 40 miles before the chariot when you grow faint he can give you strength he can send you power that you can't begin to touch you cannot exhaust God's power our God is an awesome God he is full of grace and truth he is of the Almighty El Shaddai the conqueror of death hell and the grave He's the conqueror of sickness and death. He's the conqueror of powers and principalities. He's the conqueror from Calvary. He's the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the Lord of glory. And he's coming soon with power and great glory. This is about the eternal souls of men and women. This is about your sons and your daughters. This is about the future of this nation. It's time for those who name the name of God to suit up and show up. This is a fight to the finish. And I intend to win it with a help of Almighty God. 
put on the whole armor of God and stand beside me and take the word of the holiness of the Father. Fight the good fight of faith. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. And to those of you who name the name of Christ, stop allowing Satan and his demonic goons to, to destroy your marriage. Put on the whole armor of God and fight back. Quit allowing him to attack your health. The Bible says by his stripes we are healed. Quit allowing him to attack your finances. The Bible says God will rebuke the devourer for your sake. He will make him give it back to you sevenfold. Stop allowing the devil to rob you of your peace because Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. Stop allowing Satan to rob you of your joy. In his presence is the fullness of joy. Do you want it? Then fight for it. Do you want it? Then fight for it. All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoy listening and watching uh, that inspirational clip, how I talked about putting on the armor of God, like I said, the shoes of peace, the belt of truth, the sword of the word of God, the shield of faith, breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation. I don't like getting nothing else. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, like I said, also make sure don't forget to pray. Uh, stay prayed up morning, noon, and night, man. That's, that's also, uh, it's gonna be an epic tool that you will need when it comes to keeping your mental health in check, you guys. So uh, if you guys like this video and what I'm talking about, be sure to uh, hit, let me know by hitting that like button, leaving a comment, and definitely uh, sharing it, and more importantly, subscribing to my YouTube channel. I truly appreciate the love and support, you guys. Uh, and just remember that I am with you guys, and I hope you guys, I appreciate you guys staying with me. And so uh, with that being said, we're gonna move on and talk about a little bit more of what's going on in the difference world tomorrow. I I have my uh, motivational vlog dropping uh, unfinished business we got our Monday's motivation vlog uh, so motivation vlogs and so I will be dropping uh, unfinished business so you know finishing what you start that's one thing my mom taught me is you know don't start something if you ain't gonna finish it and so with that being said when I started writing my book <laughs> what if a controversial paradigm shift that means I would never have to stop promoting it so here it is be sure you guys go to my website differentworld.net and get a copy what if a controversial paradigm shift again it's been too important and encouraged our provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in america and again remember it's intended for a mature audience you guys so if you can't take this heat then do not bother coming to the kitchen but if so head on over to differentworld.net and get your copy uh, also you guys really quick uh let's do a mental health check before i forget again like i said even with this you know spiritual warfare it ties into mental warfare so be sure you're keeping your mental health in check by doing whatever it is that you have to looking at all the resources you can leaving no stone unturned so for those that may need it uh, the crisis hotline is 1-800-273-8255 or you can text or call 988 or you can text 741741. For those that prefer, you can go online to mentalhealthishealth.us or you can go to 988lifeline.org. For those that are outside of the U.S., you can go to incounseling.com. And remember, it is okay to not be okay, but never sit there and not be okay. Go get help. Go do whatever it is that you have to do to free yourself from that mental bondage and uh, keep yourself from not going off the deep end, as well as hopefully and preferably not taking nobody with you guys. Um, again, don't forget, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to get up out of here, you guys, because I got my nephew waiting on me. He wants to go bike riding and feed the turtles, so we got to go do that. Uh, and so, again, remember, keeping your mental health in check as well as important. And uh, don't forget, when you wake up in the morning, for those that are got that mental uh, mentality that they up in atoms and they're not going to go under, make sure you put on the armor of God before you, you walk out that door. And... Um, Know that every day is not going to be bright, but when you have the Lord on your side, He will get you through it. And remember, whatever it is in life that you are believing you are destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And then it will surely come to you guys. Difference world. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. 
What if they kidnap millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.